Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be using in the sensing tab the ask and the answer. So basically, um the ask is whatever sprite you put the ask into, that sprite has a text box over um itself like like here in the say. Um and it says in the text box whatever you put here. Now, what that means is it, like, asks you a question, and you can type an answer. Let me show you. Click that. It, right now, the default is, what's your name? So, you can answer. I'll say, scratch tutorials. Now, nothing happens right now because we didn't put anything to happen right now. If you if you look at this check mark next to answer, and a bunch of um these things have it, like last video, the costume backdrop and size, these have it. What it does, it just makes it so you show like the ant like, so it shows what that is. So it's showing answer, and my answer was scratch tutorials. Normally, I don't have that on, but if you want to display your answer that you have, then you would check that out. But And to hide it, you just uncheck it. So, let's do something with this. Now, whatever you put into, whatever you answer goes into this. If you remember, if you saw last video, you, like this, you remember that this is not a variable like these types of variables, like like these. This is a variable that is pre-made and can be customized with other blocks. So like this variable, like sort of variable, is is customized by this block, the ask block. So like, ask what's your name. I put in scratch tutorials. Now, this thing is th what's stored in here is scratch tutorials. Now, what's in this is stored by whatever the latest question was and the latest answer. So, let, let me show you. If we have ask what's your name, then the answer of this we're going to hear. But then, if we do like then, and if you see it says and wait, if you remember, if you saw the broadcast thing, it was my first actual tutorial, the broadcast has and wait. If you don't remember, it means to wait for, like in this case for the ask, it means to wait for the answer to be put in and entered. The broadcast, it's a different story. If you want to know how to use the broadcast, I would recommend you go check that out. Um, but it's a different story for the ask. So it waits for the answer to be put in. And once it's put in, ask, what's a hobby you like? Um, don't I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep hobby like that because, yeah. It's, so what's a hobby like? So do that. At first it says, what's your name? Scratch tutorials. Here, and let's check my this so you see what it is. Right now there's no answer because nothing has been put in. Now I submitted my name. And as you can see right here, scratch tutorials. Now it's gonna about to change. Look, what's a hobby like? Sports. My answer got changed to sports because that was the most recent answer I put in. Um, and it gets stored in this answer. Now what I like to do with the ask, I like to do an if. So ask what's your name. Um, and this is good if you like if the creator of a game wants certain, wants certain like, 
like if you put in a certain thing, then a certain thing happens. That's good if you want like a secret code. So like if you're entering a code and if you put in a, a correct code, you get a reward of some sort. So if, and you're gonna use the equals, if answer, this thing right here, if the answer of this question is equal to, we'll do scratch tutorials, cause that's what I put in. Then, let's say then, say you cracked the code. So if my answer to this is scratch the toils, then say you cracked the code. So let's try that. What's your name? Scratch to toils. If we put that in, it says you cracked the code. Now what happens if we don't put in that? What happens if we put in a different a different name? Let's see here. What if we put in like another name? Nothing happens because my answer is not scratch the toils. Now we can also make something happen if they don't say scratch the toils. If we take all this out and we'll put it in later and we delete the if then, if you look right under the if then block in the menu of control, you'll see if then else. What that means is it's checking for one thing. And if that thing is true, then do this. If that thing is not true, then do something else. So if the answer is scratch the toils and say you cracked the code. If whatever you put in is not scratch the toils, then say try again try again so this top layer has to be equal the answer has to be scratch tutorials for it to happen the second layer the answer has to be anything but scratch tutorials now you can also narrow it down by adding another if else or another if then but that's up to you so now if we say scratch tutorials it says you cracked the code and then if you say another name and it doesn't have to be like an, literally another name it can be like hi anything but scratch tutorials and it says try again so that's basically the ask and then the answer that's basically how you do that so yeah bye